Before we start, please, one like, two share, subscribe. When it comes to love, you probably have the, the same set of ideas in mind. Flowers, candlelit dinners, holding hands and planning your happily ever after with the man of your dreams. Well, that's all cute and charming before you can share those experiences with a guy. You need to make him fall in love with you, which is exactly what I'm going to teach you today. Hey ladies, Amy North here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a relationship coach from the west coast of Canada and author of The Devotion System, a program I've designed to help women around the world find and lock down the love they want and deserve. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thanks for coming by, or if you're a regular viewer, welcome back. Either way though, sit tight because you're in for a real treat today. What's that you ask? Well, today I'm going to share with you the text messages you can send a man to make. He fall in love with you. Now before you get all worked up or start panicking that this is a huge, seemingly impossible. The challenge, don't. Stay calm, and believe me, this isn't as hard as it seems. Better yet, in this video, I'm going to give you text messages that you can use yourself. That means that all you have to do is listen to what I tell you here, and plug in these messages into your phone. That said, there are of course going to be situations or circumstances where these messages will be adapting, I mean, you're not going to text a man about a trip to Cuba if you've never left the country, but again, don't worry. I'll give you the templates then all you'll have to do is personalize these messages. Before I get ahead of myself though, I do have to mention that there are some super important rules to keep in mind. Now, I say rules because you should never do otherwise, but really they're just tips. Let's use rules as an acronym to help you remember these pointers though. R. Re-read your message. Before you hit send on your phone it's important that you read the text message you've typed. Up. Check it for clarity, spelling, and tone. Read it at least five times, you'd be surprised how easy it is to overlook the simplest mistakes. Besides, if you send him a powerful message that then has to be followed up with a spelling correction or explanation, the original message you've sent is going to lose its bite. So don't sell yourself short, read your messages before sending them. You, use visual language. Now, when it comes to text messaging men and women are quite different from one another. In terms of the types of messages they best respond to. See, while us ladies like getting messages that are descriptive and evoke her feelings. Men, on the other hand, are visual creatures that respond best to descriptive messages. That will let him easily imagine and feel the messages you're sending. This means that you'll want to use visual language. Let me give you an example. Instead of texting him, I really want to kiss you right now, you'd want to say. Something like, I. See the difference between the two? Take the time to add those details, they make all the difference. L. Leave him wanting more. This one is pretty self-explanatory so simply put, it just means don't overdo it. If you blow up your man's phone with pointless messages, then he isn't going to look forward to hearing from you. However, if you only send him well thought out, cleverly crafted messages, well those are the ones that are going to keep him hanging off your every word. Or text rather. Winking face. E. Excite him, avoid boring messages. I don't know about you ladies, but there are few things that bother me more than the one or even two word text message. You know the ones I'm talking about. Hi, or what's up? They make my skin crawl. Maybe it's because they come across as lazy or give the impression that the sender is bored and only texting for their own entertainment, or maybe it's because they don't make I feel, well, anything really, asides from irritated. Anyways, enough about my feelings, the point I'm making is that every message you send. Your man should be exciting. Now, I know this can be tough, especially if you have the kind of relationship where you communicate daily through texts and share those little mundane thoughts and updates. But seriously, believe me when I say it's time to stop. From here on out you want to make sure that every text message you send is captivating and exciting. I'll touch more on this later. 
now last but certainly not least, S. S, stay positive. Again, this one seems self-explanatory but it's definitely important enough to mention. If you want to make a man fall in love with you by texting him, then the absolute last. The thing you want to do is send him anything that's negative or depressing. Sure, you'll have your not-so-great days, but even when that strike, keep your messages. Pleasant. While there's a time and place for opening up and letting your guy in on those vulnerable thoughts and feelings, texting isn't it. So, from now on, think of text messaging as your positive pocket-sized device, and only send messages that express feel-good thoughts. So, those are the rules, and as I go through this video you'll want to keep those in mind. Got it? Good. With these up your sleeve, you're already on your way to texting your way into his heart. One last thing before I dive into the bulk of this video, if you enjoy what you learn here today or find what I share with you at all helpful then please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not only will I appreciate your support, but it's you who allows me to keep coming out with new content for you all. So please, don't forget to click the little the red button below. Now, let's get to the good stuff, the texts to make a man fall in love with you. 1. The thinking about you, text. If you're looking to make a man fall in love with you then this is a great text to start out with. Now, when I say start out I'm assuming that you've already met the man and have been seeing him for at least a little while. If you're looking to find out what kinds of texts to send a man to initially get his attention and make him interested in you then check out my channel, because I do have other videos that are better suited to that sort of scenario. So, again, this kind of text and the other ones I'm going to share with you in this video are intended for it you're already in a relationship with a man. Now that that's established, let's get to the nitty gritty of this kind of text message. Simply put, the purpose of this type of text the message is to do exactly as its name implies. To let your man know that you're thinking about him. But, as simple as it sounds, the effect it will have on your guy will be profound. Since it's so easy for us to get beat down by the to-dos of everyday life, and there's no denying that even something as small as an unpleasant or demanding text message can make you want to pull your hair out or crawl under a rock. So then, if you can be the reason your man smiles when he looks at his phone, then slowly. But surely you're going to bound his heart to you. To be the positive boost or ball or sunshine in his life, consider sending a text like the following. Hey, I was driving to work this morning and I heard the Beatles song that was playing. The first night we met. It made me think of you. Or, another example could be something like, you've been on my mind all morning, I can't wait to see you later. Yes, both of these are pretty simple, but thinking of your text messages are a perfect. An instance of when less is more. That said, the next few texts I'm going to share with you are a bit more complex. 2. The drive me wild text. If you're looking to make a man fall in love with you it's important that you give him what every man desires, sex. Now that's not to say you have to send him nude or dirty pictures of yourself, or write out the Kama Sutra for him, but rather it's about turning up the heat a bit to create the sexual tension between the two of you via text messaging. The reason why Drive Me Wild texts are so important is because it creates a digital fantasy world for you and your man to explore together. It's a space to say the things that you might not be brave enough to voice out loud and the chance to tell him all the things that turn you on. For example, let's say that you really love when he kisses a certain part of your body. But anytime you even think about telling him you feel yourself blush or get awkward. This is exactly the kind of stuff you can text him. Just be sure that when you do, you make your message as as detailed and descriptive as possible. As I already mentioned, men are visual creatures so you're going to want to really paint him a picture with your words. Sending him, your kisses drive me wild, is okay, but a text like, I cannot wait. To feel your lips graze my body tonight. You know the spots that turn me on. That's the kind of message that is going to get him going. Best of all, you don't even have to live out the fantasies you describe here, but that 
said, just be careful not to explicitly agree to do anything that you have no intention of doing. If you do then he'll think that you're just all talk, or in this case, all text. Which as you can imagine, is a bit of a turn off. 3. The, I love your, text. Now, this kind of text message can be as PG or R rated as you like, it's completely up to you. And yes, I will give you examples of both. Before I do though, it's important to explain why these kind of messages make men fall head over heels for the women sending them. Here's the thing, so many men feel like they don't get enough compliments from their women. Now, as much as this is yes, our fault, don't beat yourself up too much about it. After all, societies designed this sort of perspective where women are the ones who long and look for compliments, not men. But that is far from true. By taking the time to recognize something about your man, be it his physical self, emotional being, spiritual beliefs, or even his personality in general, it will make him fall in love with you. That said, you'll want to avoid texting the obvious here. I mean, if your man has stunning blue eyes then chances are he's heard it all his life. So reading those same words from you isn't going to send him over the moon. Though if you spiced it up and said something like, I love staring into your sapphire eyes. They make me feel as deep as the ocean blue when I'm standing next to you, well those descriptive words are a huge improvement. Again though, try to choose something about your guy that he isn't used to hearing. For example, let's say he has a fiery passion for social justice, you could say something. Like, you carry yourself with such conviction. Just being around makes me a better person. Or, again, if you want to stay physical then blast off a, you are so breathtakingly handsome. And that's the least interesting thing about you or, I love the dip in your hip. Running my fingers along it gets me hot and bothered. I cannot stress enough that detail is key here, because while it's one thing to tell a man he's good looking, telling him specifically what makes him so attractive will stroke his ego and get his heart racing. And remember, guys like to feel like the warrior in a relationship, so keep his manhood in mind when sending these messages. The last thing you want to do is send him something that's going to make him feel emasculated. If you're interested in learning some more powerful phrases for making any guy wild with desire for you then visit my site and watch the free video presentation. The URL to follow is www.coachnorth.com slash texting, and to keep it easy for you, I'll be sure to post it in the video description below. 4. The Recognition Reminder, Text. If there's one thing I talk about a lot in my Devotion System program, it's making a man feel appreciated. Without getting into too much detail here, it's this kind of recognition that keeps him working to win you over, I mean, he's not going to put in a continuous effort with you if you don't take the time to recognize the things he does for you. Sure, we're all busy, and yes, it can be hard to find the time to properly show your guy how much you love the things he does for you, but the good news is you can do this in an extremely powerful and quick way. You can text him. So, what is a recognition reminder text message? Well, it's a series of well-thought-out words that you should send your man to let him know that you do notice all the things he does for you. Again, this is a message that you're going to want to make your own, so take some time to really think about something amazing your man has done for you. Of course you're going to want whatever you choose to be time-sensitive because texting him about something that he did a year ago isn't going to be as moving as something he did last night. Sure, you can play on the past a bit, but if you're going to go this route, then be sure to reference something more recent as well. Here are some examples of recognition reminder text messages. I just wanted to thank you for all the things you for me. Even though I might not always show it, you mean the world to me. Or, I'm so lucky to have you in my life, or, I know I can be stubborn sometimes. But thank you for being so patient with me. You make life so much sweeter. Or, I love the way you love me. Thanks for being my number one fan. Any combination of these will make your guy feel like he's struck gold. 5. The, Memory Mover, Text. 
I intentionally saved this text message for last on my list for the simple reason that it's unlike all other ones I've covered today. Where the previous four types of messages focused more so on your man, the memory mover is about the two of you, as a couple. So, how does it work? Well, for starters you're going to recall a powerful memory you shared together. Next, make a list of how it played out and include every single aspect of it. If it helps, pretend you're a journalist reporting on a big story and fill in the who, what, where, when, why and hows. Leave no detail undescribed. When reading this text message you guy should be able to see the memory flash before his eyes like an old-time silent film. This means that you're going to want to use vivid, descriptive language that will let him easily imagine the memory you're reminiscing about, in a way that's so powerful. He'll feel like he's reliving it in your words. Also do your best to recall the memory in a present tense, it gives him the chance to really feel like he's reliving the moment. To help you out, here's an example. Remember the first time you took me back to your house? Sitting inches from each other on your couch, I struggle to keep my hands to myself. When we finally crawl into your bed the sun is rising and you wrap your arms around me and deeply kiss the back of my neck. Your lips on my skin is electrifying and I can't control what happens next. Now, this example isn't one you can just plug in because, well, if you haven't shared that moment together then he's going to think you meant to send the message to someone else and that's going to be incredibly awkward. So, while what I just said gives you a taste of the type of text to send, yours is going to be totally different. That said, to get you started some good intros could be Remember that time. Imagine we are back in the time we went to. You're setting the scene, so really spell it out for him and tell a story that will show your fiery feelings of love, passion and desire. Oh, and don't forget to use words like feel, touch, taste, lick, quiver, shiver, graze, grope, run, smooth, gentle, sweet. Wet, stroke and any other adjectives or descriptive words that will really help bring your text. Message to life. Believe me, you'll be glad you did. Now that I've shared these five powerful text messages with you it's your turn to weigh in. Do you have your own set of text messages that you used to get guys? Have you ever tried any of the ones I covered here? Did they work? I want to hear from you so please share in the comments section below and feel free to Post any questions you have for me down there too, I'll personally get back to you. As soon as possible. Well, that just about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you found this helpful then please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Below, after all, it's your support that allows me to keep coming out with new videos. For you all, so share this with your girlfriends, too. I'm sure they'll love that you're looking out for their love lives. So then, until next then ladies, take care and good luck.